Aloha, everyone. Thank you for joining me on Think Tech Hawaii. I am Shonda Park, your host for Money Talk. I am a business owner and investor passionate about helping people understand how money works. I am a mother of three wonderful children, and my net worth was close to zero dollars when I became a single mom about 10 years ago. Education has helped me build a strong financial foundation, creating a net worth in the millions. Today, I have the pleasure of interviewing my daughter, Shayna Park, who has followed in my footsteps going from zero to millions. She is a young entrepreneur and one of my business partners. And she will be sharing her experiences on how travel is the best investment in her opinion. Welcome to the show, Shayna. Thank you for having me, mom. Thank you for being on the show for your very first time. Please share a little bit more about yourself for the viewers today. Okay, great. Um, I am 22 years old and I am a full-time entrepreneur in the financial industry. After I graduated high school back in 2018, I moved to Oregon to attend college at Western Oregon University. And I still currently reside in Oregon. I got interested in the financial industry back in 2019 and also got a job at a local food truck in the town that I live in now. And a little over a year ago, I quit my job and went full time in my business. And how is that going for you? It's going fantastic. <laughs> I have so much time freedom, the ability to travel, and overall, it's been incredible. Wonderful. So let's talk about your travels and how, in your opinion, travel is the best investment. Okay, yes. Yeah, so <clears throat> being a young entrepreneur, I have the opportunity to travel at least once a month. And in my opinion, I believe travel is the best investment because of all the new experiences that are created when I get to see all these new places. And there are so many different cultures, the way of living, and each place that I travel to, I learn something new, but also realize that we all have something in common and we are all on this beautiful journey called life. Yes, we are. And I know that you just returned from Egypt. Did you ever imagine that that would be a place that you would travel to? Um, yes, I did just return from Egypt about a week ago and Egypt was absolutely incredible. I always wanted to travel to Egypt, but didn't know when, how, and why I would go. And so why did you go? I went for business and it was a qualifying trip. So I was able to go with you, of course, and amongst really great, big, powerful leaders in our business. Yes. And as for me, Egypt was never on my bucket list. So I was actually really surprised you know, for a young woman like yourself, that Egypt was always a place that you wanted to travel to. So I'm glad that at a very young age, you were able to cross this off your bucket list. So will you please share about the places that you traveled in Egypt and your experiences there? Yes. Yeah, so I started off or we started off our trip in Egypt in Luxor, and we got to cruised down the Nile River all the way to Aswan and then ended our trip in Cairo. So we flew to Cairo. And I think my favorite place we visited in Egypt was Cairo. Uh, there are over 22 million people in that city alone. And the, cre the Great Pyramids of Giza are all also located in uh, Cairo. So to me, the fact that it's this great busy city you could also see the pyramids. And, yeah. you know, when I seen pictures of the Great Pyramids of Giza before, I imagined you would have to drive hours and it's in the middle of nowhere. But from maybe a good balcony view, you can witness it right there. And they are, the pyramids are huge. And you mentioned the Nile River cruise. So how many days did you get to do that cruise? Um, I did the cruise for four days and breathtaking sights all throughout the whole cruise. Whether if we were docked somewhere and we got to experience the city or while we were cruising down the Nile, mm -hmm. each 
each time I got on the boat or off the boat, it was a new experience. And you said you started in Luxor? Yes. We did you start want to show about the photos there? Yeah. So in Luxor, um, it's actually that middle photo, the middle shot. And that was our first tour that we got, um, got to experience. So as soon as we got off the tour bus, I already knew that Egyptians and the history of Egypt is phenomenal because these statues were built such a long time ago and it's standing right in front of me, so tall, so big, standing strong. Um, it was breathtaking and truly, you know, once in a lifetime experience. And the photo to the left is me pointing at one of the three Great Pyramids of Giza. And when I first seen it in person, it's huge, super, super huge. And I feel like I got to experience and witness a part of history when I touched the Great Pyramid. And the last photo, it's just me capturing the moment of being free and enjoying life. Yes, you look very free and beautiful in that photo. Yeah. <laughs> and you want to share a little bit about these? Yes, of course. Was one of these in Aswan? Because I know you went, You said you went from Luxor to Aswan. Luxor. I believe the photo, the middle photo on the bottom is in Aswan. But the two other photos are in Cairo. Mm -hmm. Correct me if I'm wrong. But for me, at least, when I think of Egypt, I think of, of course, the pyramids and camels. And I feel like uh, if you're seeing pictures of Egypt, of course, it's the great monuments that you see, but also um, photos of people riding a camel. So the fact that I got to experience my first camel ride in front of the Great Pyramids with my best friend, which is you, mom, <laughs> was a moment that I will never get to experience and feel again. And I'm so grateful that I got to go and experience that moment with you. And the other photos too, um, very, very historical um, places. I'm pretty sure you read about these in the history books too of Abu Simbel. And wow, the fact that it was built thousands of years ago and it's still standing strong. And when you walk into uh, these great monuments, um, there's colors too that are still restored and not restored, but still um, intact, vibrant and intact. In its original form. Yes. Yeah, yes, it was an amazing sight. And uh, I'm so glad that I got to experience this with you too. Uh, quality time and very precious mommy daughter moment. That was a very fun camera ride too. Scarier than I was expecting it to be. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize it was gonna be a very scary lift. So that was fun. And share about this photo here. This is our gala dinner. Yes. Wow. So on the last night in Egypt, we had a gala dinner. And we our dinner was taking place maybe 200 feet away from the Great Sphinx. And to have dinner in front of one of the seven wonders of the world, what it took my breath away. Each moment there, I had to tell anyone who's behind me to pinch me because this isn't something you experience um, every day in your life. That's why it's called one of the seven wonders of the world. So to experience having a gala dinner there and enjoying great food and dancing and really living in that moment was incredible. Yes, I agree. It was very breathtaking and it almost seemed like a dream being there. Uh, not only were we at uh, the seven wonders of the world, one of the ancient seven wonders, wonders of the world, but to have a gala dinner there as well. I mean, just to top everything off. Yes, <laughs> top everything off of an incredible trip that we- <laughs> Yes, exactly. And so you mentioned that you knew you wanted to travel to Egypt. You just didn't know how, you didn't know when, you didn't know why. Uh, however, your business brought you there. So you want to share about this group photo here in front of the pyramid? 
Yes. So like I mentioned earlier, this was a qualifying trip. So I got to experience Egypt amongst the largest and, you know, biggest builders in my business. And to go on tours with them and seeing how much knowledge they have really brought a new perspective into my life. And you probably can't see her in the shop, um, but she's in the front row. Her name is Alicia Nguyen. And she shared at our meeting that we had in Egypt that um, it's crazy that Egyptian, they spend their whole lives planning for their death and their afterlife. But our generation or my generation is all in YOLO and living in the moment. So to take a piece of history from Egypt and to tie it into my life, that's what travel is all about, learning about different cultures and how to change my way of thinking and my life through these new experiences. Yeah, that's absolutely true. And Egypt is not the only continent that you've, you've been on this year, right? Yeah. What other continent have you been on this year and when? I got to go to Europe just back in May and got to um, go to Spain and Portugal. Yeah. So share a little bit about these photos here in Portugal and Spain. Uh, this top left photo might be one of my favorite photos because uh, this group right here are all of my friends in the business, but they are all located um, in different parts in the state. So the lady to the left of me or the girl to the left of me, she is located in Hawaii. And then the three people on the right of me um, are in California. So the fact that um, this business that I am in, I get to connect to all these people online through Zoom and create all these friendships, but get to meet up in a different um, country is or a different continent is crazy to me. Um, so that was our first night in Portugal. And uh, to the right, top right, is our Ohana office that we, Hawaii people going all the way to Portugal and experiencing the Portuguese food and all the wonderful um, history that Portugal has to offer. And then, of course, experiencing another trip with my mom. Yes, of course. <laughs> and you said connecting with your friends, which is wonderful. So it's not just old people in your business. There's actually many other young entrepreneurs all over the United States that you connect with. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You have more of Portugal and Spain that you want to share about? Oh, yes, of course. Um, just like how I mentioned earlier, too, that each place you visit, there's so much history. So uh, did Spain. And uh, I just want to say every other block, there was a castle. So to know that um, in Egypt, they're known for pyramids and Spain the castle, whenever I see a picture of Spain, I remember that moment that I was in. And that's another reason why travel is so great, because you get to capture all these memories that become moments and that are deeply held in your heart, or my yeah. heart, at least. <laughs> <laughs> my heart, too. <laughs> okay. And I see that this is a picture that you have of the soiree that we had that you want to share about um, where this picture was captured? This picture to the left was captured at a bulls fighting arena in Portugal. And once in a lifetime experience again, of course I've seen YouTube videos, but never in my life did I imagine that I would be having a dinner in the middle of the arena. Um, it wasn't on the stands or in the seats, but the whole middle section where the bulls fight is where our dinner was set up. So to experience another dinner in a great place that I never imagined I'd be, you know, able to visit, let alone have a dinner in and to have um, dance the whole night away. It was marvelous, a very marvelous experience. So gala dinner at the Pyramids of Giza and a soiree dinner in a bullfighting ring in Portugal. And these are not something that uh, anyone traveling there would be able to experience, right? It's, it's very unique to, to the company. Yes, definitely. I feel like the business that I am in offers 
all these great, amazing places, um, once in a lifetime experiences. And our CEO had mentioned that the next gala dinner will probably be in space. And I wouldn't put it past my business that we would have a gala dinner in space. <laughs> yes, me too. <laughs> because how would they top that off, right? Exactly. Yeah. And I know that you have traveled to many countries. So would you mind um, sharing which countries that you've traveled to? Yeah, so I have been to Thailand, Canada, Japan, Mexico, Portugal, Spain, and now Egypt. That's a lot for a 22 year old. Yes, it is. And I feel very honored and privileged to have been to all these amazing and great places. Yes. And not only countries, I know that you have traveled to many cities um, all across the US. So, about how many cities have you traveled to? I have to say, I have been to over 30 cities in the US. Yes. What are your top two or three favorites? Definitely New Orleans, like I had mentioned earlier to each place that you visit to, whether it's a different continent or um, in the States, each place has its own history. So New Orleans, uh, the feel and uh, walking in the French quarters and the food, um, it was absolutely incredible. But I also do love Anaheim, California, because it's known for Disneyland and uh, California Adventure Park. So two polar opposites, but definitely very memorable and great experiences that were created there. Yeah. What about big cities like um, Vegas and New York? Did you enjoy cities uh, such as such as those? I did enjoy uh, New York and Vegas. However, I feel like the smaller places too are a little bit more intimate, um, more history behind it. And I I think too, it's because I went on tours in um, New Orleans, maybe that's why I like it so much in California. I got to go on rides. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so tell me about this picture here. Where are you at? What city are you at in this picture? I am in Fort Worth, Texas. And it was actually um, our company's big, convention that happens once a year. And I was able to bring um, a very big team of mine to Texas. So they're not all in this picture, but it was over um, a dozen of them that came and different parts of the states too. So my team from Hawaii, I also have a team um, now building in Alaska, in Oregon, and Vegas. And we all got to connect at this convention. So explain how is it that you get to travel to all these incredible places and travel as frequently as you do? I get to travel as frequently as I do and to all these places because of the business that I am in. And I feel very fortunate to be traveling at such a young age and to all these incredible places um, because of my business, but because I'm also very young, I know a lot of people wait and it's on their bucket list to travel when they retire. But through knowing what I know now and being an entrepreneur, I have the opportunity to travel on my own time while doing what I love the most, which is educating people about financial education. And I see uh, a book in this picture here. Yes. Um, so this book was given to um, a team member or a client. And we went to Alaska to educate and share with people we love and care about the most, which is our friends and family or my team members, friends and family. So September is actually Life Insurance Awareness Month. And life insurance is a huge part of how I help people build a strong financial foundation so in that photo, we were able to help him start um, a solid financial foundation and get him proper protection. That's wonderful. And you just met him that day, correct? Yes. No contact at all. Never texted, but we were able to meet, connect, and um, educate on why it's important and the value of getting life insurance, even at a young age. Yes. And how does it feel to just travel across 
countries, travel across the United States and be able to meet with people that you've never met before and be able to help them in such a way that you do? I feel very honored and privileged, but I also don't take it lightly, uh, lightly because I know that what I do is important and there is a big need for the help in finances. A lot of people, um, it's not taught a lot in schools. And um, I think it's very important to share. And I love traveling and be able to share the message of finances. I know that you're expanding. Yes, I am. So not only am I uh, have my business in Oregon and Hawaii, but I am also expanding to Alaska and Vegas as well. So this photo uh, really does mean a lot to me because this was my first time in Alaska. Um, I got to bring one of my team members, but also through the business and being an entrepreneur, I'm able to travel frequently and see my family a lot. I think um, that's very important to me. So my brother is pictured uh, to the far left and he's right there. And the lady in the green is another team member in our business. And I always see her through Zoom because I'm in Oregon, she's in Alaska, but through traveling, we're able to see each other physically in person and start up an office in Alaska. Wow, that's really amazing that um, you're gonna be expanding and open, opening an office in Alaska. And you see that happening sometime this year? Yes, definitely before the year ends, actually. Yes. Wow, that's wonderful. And, you know, I know that you travel a lot, but just to kind of put it to, to viewers just in a year, this is only September, but can you name all the places that you've traveled to just from the beginning of 2022? Yes, of course. So I was in Hawaii in January, and then I went to New Orleans. I went back to Hawaii. I went to California um, in April. I went to New Mexico. May was Portugal and Spain. Uh, July was Texas. Um, August was back home to Hawaii and Alaska. And September was Egypt. <laughs> And then I know also before you flew to Texas, you sent for your brother to fly to Oregon and spend a week with you and then fly to Texas together with him. Yes. And that's the great beauty of being an entrepreneur, the freedom, the time freedom. And I think family time is the most important to me. So to experience and having him up for a week and flying to a different state together. It's, these are moments that I'll never get back. And, you know, you can't rebuy time. So the fact that I have the time freedom to spend with my younger brother um, is really, truly amazing. Yeah, and I know it's really important to him too that you're able to go back to Hawaii and spend time with him as frequently as you do and to send for him to go to Oregon. And if you had a nine to five job, a Monday through Friday, nine to five, that would be time that you would not have with him, you know, during the week that he's there. So, yeah. yeah. And um, at the Titanx meeting in Egypt, one of the leaders said that travel is the currency of the new industry. And he also read an anonymous quote, which says, travel is the only thing you can buy that makes you richer. So what's your thoughts on that? I truly believe um, travel does make you richer. You create, or I create new memories. I learn about the history of the places that I traveled to. I learn about different cultures and I gain, you know, many new experiences, which overall makes me see life um, from different perspectives. So each place that I visit, I get to take away something new and, you know, put it to my lifestyle and how I want to better myself. And I don't think I would be able to do that if I just stayed um, in the same place all the time. So um, Egypt, you know, taught me about persistence and how powerful the people are there. They are very persistent. 
and always working hard. But um, the last day I was there, this man told me to smile because life is so short. And that simple quote or that simple statement that he told me had such a big impact that I will remember that and his face until, you know, years from now, probably until I die. And that's what traveling does. Uh, makes you richer in the mind, makes you richer in experiences, and makes me richer overall with life. And it definitely makes you appreciate all the things that you have when you travel to places like that, right? And and having someone in that environment working so hard in a store, you know, just doing their best to make a sale and telling you to smile and having such a great attitude, right? And his character and personality, it, I, I will never forget this person as well. Yes. He, he will hold a special place in my heart forever. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you only get that through experiencing new things. So I've never experienced being in an environment like that and having the advice and the power of those words. Um, you know, really capture my heart like that. Definitely. And one thing that a leader said at the meeting as well is three things that will change your life is the books you read, the people you're with, and the environment you're in. And I can tell by the people that you're with and the environment you're in, Shana, that it definitely has made you richer. Thank you, mom. That <laughs> <laughs> thank you again for being on the show for your very first time i hope that you will be back on another show again and aloha everyone thank you for watching and i will see you on the next money talks Thank you so much for watching Think Tech Hawaii. If you like what we do, please like us and click the subscribe button on YouTube and the follow button on Vimeo. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn, and donate to us at thinktechhawaii.com. Mahalo.